Okay, so hopefully this will come through loud and clear. Um, so all of this started when um, when uh, I was channeling the Lemurians and the Palladians, and um, as I was doing the beginning part where I was saying, please everyone either turn off your phone or put it on airplane mode, make sure it's totally silent. So by the way, everyone, let's uh, check our phones, please. Um, because sometimes people will put it on silent, but they, they don't turn the vibrate, it still vibrates. So either airplane mode or off, because we don't want any ringing. Um, it's like, it's all about frequency. So I open up and this beautiful energy comes in and it's, everyone's getting connected energetically. And then in the middle of your me, me, bzz, bzz. Uh, when I channeled the uh, librarians, they, they get distracted of the Akashic records. They get distracted and they're like, Ooh, what's that? Let's go chasing after that. They, like when you throw a ball and a dog goes running after it in the middle of obedience class or something. Um, so as I was telling everyone to turn off their phones, either airplane mode or off, um, this anecdote came flowing through my mouth to everyone in the room of one time I was channeling Gaia, Mother Mary, and Mary Magdalene as a trio. And uh, as they were speaking in the middle of the session, someone's phone went off and it was a ringtone. It's all about the bass, about the bass, about the bass, <laughs> no trouble. <laughs> and this very embarrassed man we like went diving into his pocket going, I thought I turned it off, I'm so sorry. And um, Mary and Mary were laughing and saying, it's true, it is all about the bass. You need a very strong root chakra to honor our divine mother. <laughs> We can let all the trouble stuff go for now. <laughs> and they were joking, trouble is trouble. Base is divine. <laughs> so um, so they, they were like, you know, they thought it was hilarious. And then we went on with the messages they were giving. So I, I shared this anecdote with a group. And, you know, Gaia, Mary, and Mary were there. And I was like, the only problem is like, I'm a very honest person. I do not lie. Like I cannot abide untruth. Like anyone who's empathic telepathic, like, you know, when someone lies, you're like, why, why do you bother lying to me? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's just like so unnecessary. <laughs> and um, like, even if I tell someone something to someone and then later I learn I had been wrong, I will call them and say, you know, three years ago when I said, and they're like, no, and I'll go, well, I remember and I was wrong. It should have been blank. And they're like, okay. I'm like, I just need to realign the truth. That's all. <laughs> so I, I'm like, I'm there. Like I had been already connected to the Lemurians and Palladians. It was like, there was this big funnel from them coming to me with little tubes going all the way around connecting to the top of everyone's head and it was like Gaia Mary Mary crashed our party to tell that anecdote and it was an anecdote that never happened I have never in my life before what we will do today channeled Gaia Mary and Mary as a trio I've channeled Mary Magdalene I've channeled Gaia I have never channeled Mother Mary I've talked with her never channeled her never channeled them as a trio so I'm sitting there and I felt like a tremendous amount of stress and pressure at that point because I had a circle of people. We had a packed house and I'm like mentally going, Gaia, why are you throwing lies through my mouth? And she said, of course, I would never do that, my beautiful daughter. And I, I was like, yes, that never happened. She said, oh, that never happened to you, but it happened to you. I'm like, huh? And she said, well, it didn't happen to you in this timeline, but it happened to another you. I was like, uh, uh, all right, we're going to chat again later today because I got to do this whole Palladian Lemurian thing right now and people are staring at me. So, um. <laughs> what was she saying didn't happen? The bass music thing? The, yeah, it's all about the bass. Like, it's I've never happen. channeled them ever uh, in my life. And she's saying, I didn't channel them, 
but another me channeled them. Oh. Um, so, you know, we, we did the whole thing. It was like a really wonderful day. Um, and then, you know, I packed up. I'm driving home on 95 heading north, which is always so much fun. And I'm like, Gaia, get over here. Mm -hmm. What the heck is going on? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and Gaia, Mary, and Mary showed up and they're laughing at me. And they said, and this is the important part. They said that we're coming into the time in our planet where we're understanding time is not linear. It's like, they were showing, it's like a, they said, think of a mosaic or think of just beautiful swirling energy. They said, in fact, when we incarnate, uh, we don't always incarnate linearly. It just, um, because we think we're linear, when we're in life, we generally only remember the lives that were before us in timeline. But she said, your last timeline may have been in the future or an alternate reality or wherever, but we need to open up our minds enough to accept more of what we are, not keep confining ourselves to in 1772 and 1903. Mm -hmm. um, and she said, and time is not always it's not one line that every single time you come to a, um, uh, a quandary or you need to make a, a selection of your action, you open up to multiple timelines, but the ones that are the most powerful are the ones that stick in this timeline. So just as you know, when I talk about our life path, like say we have our life path, I'm born here and I want to end there. So you'd think I'll go straight, but no, I'm like like Billy in Family Circus when the mom's calling him in from the backyard. Like, I go here, I go this way, I go this way, I go way off over there and never come back. Got to finish it in the next life. Or like, I come back and sometimes I make it up to here and then the next thing you know, I'm back there, you know. Yeah, that's, that's the way we travel life. But for timelines, there's not just one timeline. It's a whole series of timelines. And they said, as they've been working with me with these books I'm channeling and the work I'm doing, they've been working with me in this timeline. But she said, you know, they don't, there's too much happening now that they don't have time to keep opening me up and training me and mentoring me in this timeline. So they're just grabbing the me of other timelines and slamming them into me of this, which makes sense because like, once they spoke the words to me, I had total memory of that experience that I never had. I'm like, well, now I remember something that never happened. So am I lying? Am I telling the truth? I'm like, why? She's like, <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> um, so we are, we are reaching the time where as we are opening more and our frequency is going higher, we can accept, connect with, and absorb things that before we did not realize existed. That is what they really want to come through and talk about today. Um, and I'm not 100% sure what they're going to talk about. Again, they've been like showing me all this stuff now for a couple of months, so I'm a little like, um, you know, bleary eyed <laughs> like a little my mind is blown at the same time I think it's all a little like well doesn't everyone know this so um so I do know as we're going forward um you know more and more people like we feel it it used to be if you need a healing you go to a healer and they heal you and now we're all learning how to heal ourselves how to heal each other um it used to be, uh, if you wanted to connect with someone who passed, you would go to someone to do that and they would do it for you. And anytime you want to talk with your deceased loved one, you have to pay, you know, whoever the psychic money to do that. And now we're getting more and more in there. When I see visions of future Earth, which I've been seeing for a very long time, um, it's an earth where humans are much more harmonious with all of, of life on the planet. 
And um, when we incarnate, and also it's like just much cleaner, the buildings are like built in harmony with nature. So if you put up a building, you go and you let nature know so nature can kind of clear out of the way for you and you build your home and then nature can come and wrap around it without doing structural damage to the building. Um, who was I talking to the other day? Oh, it was in the Tuesday group. Um, Jean-Marie was talking about a self-healing building in, oh. where was that? Like Malaysia or India or someplace, Egypt. It was someplace, a building that was built thousands and thousands of years ago that scientists like to go to because if you chip it, it immediately, they watch it as it heals itself. It reconstructs. What's it made out of? I don't, I mean, I'm assuming stone because, but I, I don't know. She, you know, I, she was vague on, she was extremely yeah. vague, but she said the building was created with this energy in it and no one now knows how, but when I look at a future earth, this style of creation will return to us. Um, our work with energy will be so comfortable and compatible that we don't need to eat massive amounts of food to maintain energy. You know, like we, you know, you guys have heard me talk about uh, sects in India and the Himalayas where they can pick up a handful of dirt and turn it into whatever they want because they change the molecular structure. So if you're hungry, if you're like, oh, you know what? I want a souffle, pick up a handful of dirt. <laughs> mm -hmm. It doesn't become dirt that looks and tastes like souffle. It becomes souffle because they change the molecular structure. Um, so we will be able to pick a leaf of spinach, infuse it with energy, which many of us do now. Before we eat, we do a little energy work on the food, infuse it with energy, eat it, or just breathe and yeah. breathe in the energy. Exactly. Um, so that like so much in our functioning of life will go to a higher frequency. And the one thing I love the most is, and also our work with gravity. Like I saw this great vision of people calling to the clouds, bringing down rainwater and bringing it up to these hanging planters that are just hanging in space and watering them from the ground up sending the rainwater up through them, like, like, oh, that would be so much fun. So much more fun than hauling the garden hose across my yard. <laughs> um, and the other thing is when we incarnate, we'll have more variety of incarnation choices. So you can go through the whole life cycle as we do now, or you can say the lesson I really need to learn in this life it's really a lesson that I will learn between age 20 and 27. So at age 20, you are born. Like, not someone gives birth to you. You're like, okay, I start life at 27. You appear fully formed age 27. And the, you, you have your family waiting. You know, you make your soul contracts as we do now. It's not like you're then a homeless bum. You are born into whatever contracted relationship you have. You're like, hey, mom, hey, dad, hey, siblings. They're like, hey, so nice for you to finally join us. Um, or uh, a past life who has not completed their karmic lessons can come back at whatever point in their life they need to complete the lessons they need. So like, I'm a pirate in an office building. Like, <laughs> ah, that'll be fun. <laughs> But we also do not need to come into life physically because everyone will see with total vision. So you can see into other dimensions and portals and the non-physical. So I might say, you know what? I want to come to life, but I don't even need to take full shape. I'm just going to be the essence of me in this way, shape or form that I choose for this life for however long. And I'm going to tag along with my buddy, bless you. I'm going to tag along with my buddy and help them out with what they're doing and I'll absorb what I need through that. You know, we can become our own guardian angels. Or... So there's just going to be a bigger spectrum in the future. So what uh, Gaia, Mary, and Mary want to talk about is how do we get from where we are now 
through what we're going to go through to where we're going to go and why is all of this happening? Yes. Okay.